Do you play DraftKings? What about FanDuel? What about the pick of the week, like at work or something? Or do you do parlays? Gambling. Where you at the right spot. Fantasy good sports. And we gonna win some money this year. A lot of money. Just don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel so you can get all the cutting edge information. Today's video gonna be a special one. Thanks. I'm back. It's your boy Chitty coming to you from Fantasy Good Sports. And today's video is on Antonio Gibson, the running back from Memphis that was drafted in the third round, pick 66 by the Redskins. And I'm comparing him to CMC. Yes, I said it. CMC. As I've told you in my other videos, the NFL is changing. The NFL is starting to draft hybrid players that are positionless over a guy that plays the same position every snap. So I use a guy like Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas can line up in the slot. He can he can definitely line up out wide, but he can't line up at running back. So when you see him in the game, you put your the people that you won't cover him either in the slot or on the outside corner. But if you got CMC or Antonio Gibson in the game, you can't do that. You Okay, well, he's lining up at receiver this play, and then he lines up at running back. How do you stop that? And then he runs a route from the running back position. Mitch match. And another reason that I like Antonio and where he was drafted, he wasn't used up in college. Especially in the SEC and some of these other big conferences, these players are wore out before they even get to the NFL, touching the ball 300 to 400 times a year. Now, Antonio Gibson, his senior year, he touched the ball like 67 times. That's nothing. But he was very dynamic, very big play. He averaged 19.3 yards per reception. And he had also 33 attempts for eight touchdowns rushing the ball. So why was he drafted ahead of guys that had more stats than him? Because the NFL knows that that doesn't mean anything. I'm looking to make Mitch matches. Just like Bill Belichick taking Julia Elderman and turning him from a quarterback to a receiver. He never, oh, well, this guy plays quarterback. No, what can I use him in my offense? So everybody like, well, Antonio Gibson, he didn't touch the ball in, in college that much. Yeah, because the college coaches didn't know how to use him. This guy's 228. They probably tried to make him a tight end or something. He's not that. This guy is dynamic. And this is where the new NFL is going. It's, it's kind of like the NBA. You know how in the NBA you have five guys that really are positionless? You can take the power forward, put him at the two. You can put the point guard at the four. They all can guard all positions. And it makes it hard on the defense. I mean, you just, just take an example. Let's, let's take a guy like Zion. I would compare Zion to Antonio Gibson. Guys are big, fast. So if Zion gets the rebound and he's not looking to pass it to the point guard and dribbles the ball up floor looking to make a play to make the right pass or make a shot, how do you stop that? You can't. It just The defense is going to have to keep adjusting. And hopefully, you know, we can... Stop them a possession or two. And that's the same thing with the NFL. It's an offensive game. Hopefully we can stop them a possession or two. You're not going to stop them to a low scoring game anymore because it's, 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 you're going to have a, match, a mismatch on the field with these type of guys like CMC and Antonio Gibson. Also, to throw a little nugget to you about some other guys that are similar, look at Debo Samuels. Debo could play running back. Now, the San Francisco, they got they so good on the run game that they don't have to do that. But Depot had eight or nine carries in that Super Bowl and had a couple catches. 
very dynamic. So this is the new wave. And it even surprises me that Antonio can do the same thing that CMC can do, but he's so much bigger and he haven't even put on his NFL body yet. That's ridiculous. And this guy only having 67 touches his senior year, if he was to be used 300 touches this year, it wouldn't affect him because he haven't been used up in college. He haven't took a, he ha, his body has have not took a, a big pounding. I'm sorry, let me say it again. His body has not took a pounding in the college game. Look at these guys. Like, let's say AJ Dillon that was drafted by the Green Bay Packers. He's touched the ball was 300 times each of each career each year of his career in college. His body's probably going to be wore out by the third year in the NFL. Antonio Gibson can easily have a 10 to 12 year career. So, guys, these new players like Tyreek Hill, CMC, Debo Samuels has changed the game and made scouts start looking for these type of players. So next year, don't be surprised when you see a guy take that's drafted in the first round but didn't have a lot of value, didn't carry the ball a lot. And even in the early second round, the game is changing. The scout game is changing. I don't need a player that can pl that's going to play the posi same position every play. I need to create confusion on it for the defense, on the defensive side of the ball. Because these defensive coordinators are so good, when they see your personnel, they already know what you're going to do and what plays you're going to run. There's only 10 to 12 plays that you can run with this personnel. Not when you got Antonio Gibson and CMC on the field. When they run angle routes, lining up a receiver, play action over the top, all the above. So guys, if you like the content that I'm putting out, please subscribe to my channel. And I will keep giving you all this content so you can get in the algorithm. If you like this video, please like the video to show support. I see that y'all have been supporting my video and been in the comment section and I greatly appreciate it. I'm going to continue to bring you content like this. So guys, thank you for tuning in to this video and y'all have a blessed day. Thank you. Guys, if you like the videos that I give you, if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. If you like cutting edge information on videos with sports, and you like winning money on platforms like DraftKings, FanDuel, and others, then like my videos and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And also comment in the bottom. I would love your opinions. Thanks, it's your boy TD.